What is going on, everyone? I am Mike. Welcome back to Tech 24 7 TV. I am so glad to have you back here today because we are unboxing Apple's new M1 13 inch MacBook Pro. It is a screamer of a notebook, and mark my words, it'll probably be notebook of the year. This thing is amazing. Now, if this is your first time here, guys. Here we do analysis, we do reviews, we do product unboxings, we do how to's. So if you like this type of content, especially like this 13 inch MacBook Pro video that you are watching right now, consider hitting subscribe, turn on notifications because I have a ton of other content planned. So make sure that you are subscribed to be alerted when that content drops. Now the version I am boxing today is the 13 inch MacBook Pro. It's got 16 gigs of unified memory and it has 512 gigs of RAM. So it is the entry level model of 16 gigs and it costs $1,499. Now that is certainly not cheap, but when you compare to what you were getting for the 13 inch Intel notebooks, the cost performance ratio is really just through the roof. I mean, it's that great of a deal. Now, if you aren't familiar, I've already unboxed the Mac mini M1 and I am super excited to unbox this because I'm really trying to test out between this and the M1 Mac mini. Now let's get started here with the unboxing. Now I have a 2019 MacBook Pro. This is the 15 inch. This is the 2.4 gigahertz, eight core i9. This is a beast when it came out now. This has 32 gigs of RAM and the Vega 20 GPU. And I'll be honest with you, I think this is gonna beat it here. Now let's go ahead and see what's in the box first. Here we have the USB-C to USB-C cable. This feels a little bit thicker than it was in previous years, but we'll get more into that once we go ahead and actually start using this. Let's take a look here at the welcome packet. We have the Apple stickers, same. We have the safety and handling and the quick reference guide for your MacBook Pro. Now as reference, this MacBook Pro does have two Thunderbolt slash USB 4 ports, and it does have the touch bar, which some people aren't the most excited about. I don't know about you, but I like using the touch bar. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below, but I actually find it useful, especially when using applications like Logic and Final Cut for editing uh, when it need to be. Now also, here we're gonna have the 61 watt USB-C charger it's kind of amazing that Apple's able to go ahead and crank out much more performance out of this machine and still use the same charger. All right, let's go ahead and put this in here. Now let's go ahead and power up the MacBook. The startup chime is back. and that instantly comes on. Let's go ahead and set this up. Now it's nice here is that they give you accessibility features as soon as you're powering this on. It's actually a nice touch here, not now. Now what I'm gonna go ahead and do here is I'm gonna go ahead and plug in this dock from Hyperdrive. This gives me, I have a headphone, SD card, micro SD, two USB A's in the front. Then I have dual HDMI in the back, display port, I have power, I also have USB-A and a LAN cable. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this LAN cable, plug it on in and get rocking on this. Go to other network options, I'm gonna go ahead and use local ethernet, click go, continue. I am not gonna transfer, I'm gonna do a brand new installation, which is, that's how I like to go ahead and roll. I'm gonna go ahead and set up later, skip, agree. Agree. Now this is my first time actually using the new Sister Switch keyboard, because I have a 2019 MacBook Pro that does not have the Sister Switch keys. And this actually is really nice experience. Now there are a number of different features on the 13 inch MacBook Pro, which make it ideal. It has instant on just like your iPhone or iPad. It does have the touch bar, which depending on who you are and whether or not you like it, that could be a positive or a negative. Uh, it does have a nice vivid display. It does have a phenomenal, phenomenal battery life. I can tell you that I was surfing the web for about three hours, three hours, and the battery life dipped about 3%, which I was like, whoa, that was kind of unreal to think about that. Now, if you're sitting there asking yourself, should you go ahead and purchase Apple's first generation Apple Silicon chip in the MacBook Pro? I think the answer is yes. Now, if you are the average consumer looking to go ahead and purchase a notebook, whether it's like a replacement, uh, I would say that you really shouldn't be concerned because I have not come across an instance where apps run 
extremely poorly using Rosetta 2, which is Apple's app they use for translation. Now I'm currently testing different apps with a 13 inch MacBook Pro to kind of get a feel for how battery life and performance is impacted. If there's something that you want tested, let me know down in the comments below. If you aren't subscribed already, make sure that you are because I have a ton of different content coming for the MacBook Pro, the Mac Mini. In addition, I have some HomeKit home automation stuff, so make sure you are subscribed because that content will be dropping soon. I am so glad that you dropped by today to watch this video because Hey, listen, I love talking about tech. I am Mike. This is Tech 24-7 TV. I will talk to you in the next one. Wow, is it hot. Whew.